In this video of The Mac Essential, I am going to talk about an Indian company that came up with true Microsoft Office alternative. And the reason why I am saying this, because many other Office packages, they are kind of trying to mimic Microsoft Office. However, Zoho took entirely new approach to solve the same problem. But I would say it is us to decide whether they succeed or not. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can download and install it for free. And the best part is that you do not need to pay any subscription fee. It is completely offline. And of course, you do not need to pay any one time fee as well. So let's see how we can download and install it. OK, so here you can see I am in my desktop. Next thing here I'm going to do is I am opening my browser. So let's quickly open browser and now let's type Zoho Writer Download. And now here you can see it says that meet Zoho Writer's all new desktop app. Let's click here on download for macOS. And then here you're going to see both the variant of which support the latest generation M series Mac starting from M1 chip to the latest M series also to old Intel chipset. So here in my case, I am using M series chip. So let me download this Apple Silicon variant. And then here you're going to see the download pop up. You need to click on allow. And in here you can see the Zoho download has begun. Now regarding this particular form, I would say this is completely optional. If you want to receive update about Zoho Writer desktop app, you can fill it or else you can skip it. Now let's wait for a while till the Zoho Writer package get downloaded. And finally here we have successfully downloaded it. Now let me click go here and run this Zoho setup by making double click on it. And here we go. So let's click here on continue. And then I'm going to click on change install location. And from here I can select my drive and then can click on install. Now let me enter my password and that's it. Yeah, we can see we have successfully installed Zoho Writer in our system. Now I can move the setup to the trash and here we can see the capability of it. The best one what I think is you can literally work in offline mode without relying on anything. And then there are so much to offer, which of course I'm going to show you in a while. So let me quickly go here in app and then I'm going to type here writer and let's open this app for the first time. It is asking me username and language. So again, I would say uh, though it is asking username, but it is completely optional. You can simply type your name. I'm going to type in my name and then I'm going to say continue. Now you may think that uh, you know because it have asked me username so you need to sign in but that's not the case if you scroll down here it clearly says no mandatory sign up you do not need to worry about creating any kind of account now zoho is taking some time as it is starting for the first time and finally here we can see the zoho is set up in the system so this is your welcome screen where you're gonna see your recent document since I am running it for the first time so I don't see any recent document here and then these are the template that comes built in with Zoho so either you can quickly start with these templates or you can start blank now let me quickly close it and then here we have got option to create blank document so here what you see is entirely different approach when compared to conventional Microsoft Word. I mean, you can see here, it looks like the number of tools here we have is less, but that's not the case actually. When you click here on menu, you can see the menu is actually available here on the left hand side, which then you can access and can utilize based on your use case scenario. Now let me delete this table. Now, additional to all these options that you will see generally in case of Microsoft Office are available as a ribbon interface. You will face a little bit of hazel because, uh, you know, because if let's say you are habitual of Microsoft Word, you feel really odd, you know, why all these options are on the left hand side. But I would say this is an intelligent move as in most of scenario, what happened is 
the left and right space generally remain empty it doesn't have any use so here i would say zoho made a smart move by keeping everything separately so in this way guys this is very different from microsoft ribbon interface now again i would say it is totally up to you i would say you are the better judge to decide whether it makes sense or not now the philosophy i really like uh, you know the way zoho have created three mode the first one here is compose so let me quickly type here the quick brown box jumps over the lazy dog okay now you also will see certain tools that are available on the tip which of course i would say is nice touch and a very different i would say from regular office app now as i was mentioning you know there are three modes the first mode is to create and edit your document then the second step is more of review where checker can see uh, the document and can further fine tune it or even can provide feedback in the form of comment then here we have got distribute which is more of giving you option to finalize and publish your document now there is one more thing here which is zia so zia also going to help you out in writing the text in one of the most professional way so you just saw how different this software is when compared to other and that's it hope you find this video helpful and informational if you have got any kind of doubt or question in your mind regarding Zoho Writer, please do let me know in comment down below and I will definitely try to answer your question as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to subscribe to The Mac Essential for more such macOS productivity tips and tricks and I will see you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.